Oral Roberts, my father in the faith. And then just days later, Kenneth E. Hagen came into my life. Johnson is a praise and worship specialist. Hallelujah, Lord. And he's good at his job. <laughs> and that's the reason the glory falls. Beit El ידוע גם בתעשיית המוזיקה שלה, Bethel Music. כלתו של ביל ג'ונסון, ג'ן ג'ונסון, מנהיגה את הלהקה יחד עם בעלה. דעותיה על רוח הקודש הן בחזקת גידוף. רוח הקודש הוא עבורה כמו הג'יני מאלאדין. הוא כחול, הוא מצחיק, הוא חמקן. היא אף מגדירה אותו במילה סילי, כלומר מישהו שההתנהגות שלו טיפשית. הג'יני מאלאדין, להזכירכם, הוא שד שעושה ככל שתצווה עליו. לזה היא משווה אותו. has taught me so much. Honestly, Brother Copeland's a wordsmith, and uh, <laughs> he is so versed in the word, it's incredible. Yeah. And I'm so thankful to, to be able to be in his life, and, yeah. and I'm so thankful that he's in mine. And we just, it's love. I love him with all my heart. I love I the ministry with all my heart. He's often said that you have something he needs. I have the privilege of introducing one of the amazing fathers in the body of Christ. Actually, he's really special to me and Kenneth Copeland the so-called godfather of prosperity gospel let's receive our evening offering this evening and uh, give you a chance to raise your income he's a, right. a mentor in my life he's a spiritual father I've just for years and years since I've been saved have just looked at the rock solid ministry of Kenneth Copeland Okay, so everything that Jesus did and walked and lived by the Spirit, anointed by God, you understand he was born through a woman at a certain time, he was water baptized, the Spirit of God came upon him just like us. We get water baptized, the Spirit of God comes upon us because he came as a man. One of the biggest mistakes we've made on the earth and in churches is we still always see him as his God, but he came as a man. He even made sure he called himself the Son of Man constantly. He told us to follow him. If he came as God, it would be impossible to follow him. If he came as a man anointed by God, we could follow him. Come on, this thing is simple. He said, the things I do, you'll do also. Why? Because the same Spirit of God that was in him has come upon us. The Bible teaches that. My whole life growing up, I was told that Jesus died on the cross because I was a sinner. And it left me a forgiven sinner. Nobody ever told me that he died on the cross to restore my purpose and potential and destiny. That he actually died on the cross because he saw great value in what I could be when he lived inside of me. Of course he had to die because I sinned. But he didn't die because I was a sinner. He died because I was a lost son. See, the cross doesn't expose your sin, it removes your sin to expose your potential and your value. See, the cross to me isn't the revelation of my sin. 
The cross is actually the revealing of my value. See, yeah. we've said that we're worthless and we're worms in the dirt, right. not realizing that that's what Satan is. Satan's a worm in the dirt and he's worthless and he's trying to recreate himself in the soul of Christians. Something underneath of that sin must have been of great value for heaven to go bankrupt to get me back. Mm. Your value comes from your creator. God breathed his life into you. You have the DNA of Almighty God. You have royalty in your blood. But the enemy works overtime trying to devalue us. Jesteśmy tacy jak on. DNA Boga jest w nas. Jaki on jest, tacy i my jesteśmy. To jest kwestia DNA Boga. Mamy DNA Boga. Tak jest sam. You have exactly the same spiritual DNA as Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You are a twin to the master himself. Ha 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 ha. You're gonna put it on somebody else's head, a watch, and then say, more Lord. Whoa! More Lord. Everybody, place, place it again, try it again, try it again. More Lord. Fire. More Lord. Destroyed forever. You are, you are destroyed, destroyed forever. forever. And you will never be back. And you will never, never be back. Dear friends, if you're watching this video and you're not saved, if you're into one of these cults or false religions, you need to come to a saving knowledge of the real Jesus. The God who became a man and went to the cross in your place and mine. He took our sin to give us his righteousness. If you or if I were the only person who ever sinned, he would have went down to that cross just for you. And he rose from the dead to give us eternal life. You have to repent and ask him to forgive you. To give you his spirit and follow him based on his word. No religion can save you. No tradition of men. It will only get you in hell. However, if you are somebody who claims to be a Christian, who claims to be born again, who claims to be an evangelical, and you're following this nonsense... If you're following Benny and Kenny and Joyce, 
you got a problem. In the first edition of her first book, Joyce Meyer said, unless you believe Jesus went to hell, you can't go to heaven. That's blasphemy. It comes from a distorted translation of the Greek Hades in the King James Bible that they don't even know what it means. No, Jesus won the victory on the cross, not in hell. If you're involved in this stuff, you got a problem. Folks, what we're seeing today in what is called so many revivals and things that are happening being attributed to the Holy Ghost cannot be found in the scripture. Anything that cannot be found in this book has to be rejected outright. Has to be rejected.